In today's video, I'll show you how to download files from an S3 bucket. And if you follow my previous tutorial, I showed you how to upload files from an S3 bucket. And now this video will specifically be showing you how to download those same files that you uploaded. And some of the code that I'll show you will come directly from the Amplify documentation. As you can see here, it shows you exactly how to download a file. And I'll make sure to leave a link in the description so that you can follow along. And this is what the final result will look like. We'll basically list all of the objects from our S3 bucket. And when you click on it, uh, you can see that we successfully downloaded the image. And now I'll jump straight into the code to show you how this is done. And to start, I'll go ahead and just go through the three functions I created in order to actually list out all of the S3 objects as well as like generate download links for them. So the first function we have is a function that I called like list objects from S3. And basically what this does is list out all of the objects that you have currently stored in your S3 bucket. And we can do that by just like importing the storage object from AWS Amplify and then calling this function uh, storage.list to list out every single S3 object uh, in your S3 bucket. And if we go back to documentation and we go to storage and go to list files, uh, you can read more about the function that we're using to list all of the files here. And once we have a list of all of the S3 objects that we want, the next step is to go ahead and like download these files. And if we look at the documentation about downloading files, uh, the most important like function that we'll be using is like getting the side URL string. And this will return a URL that if we click on, it will show the image or like media inside of your browser. However, to actually download the items from the S3 bucket, we just have to scroll a little farther down and it explains how we can programmatically like download the files using JavaScript. And I went ahead and just modified this block of code uh, just so it has exactly what we need. So if we go back to the code, you can see once we have like all of our S3 objects, I just like uh, iterate the array to now just generate like download links for each of the items inside of this array. And I also create like this S3 download links uh, array object uh, up here using like the use state hook. And so you can see on line 28, as we generate each download link, uh, I'll now store it into the like S3 download links array that I created. And if we just like look through each of the functions here, I just created like a generate download links. And all this is doing is calling the storage get function and passing in like the file key, which is just the name of the file. And then just like storing it in this variable I called result. And then once we get like the result back, then I just pass it to another function called download blob, which will actually generate the URL for us to click on so that we can actually download the uh, type of like media in the S3 bucket. And once we generate all the download links, uh, like I said, I just saved them onto an array called like S3 download links. We can just scroll down a little bit here. And here I've actually just got the map function on the S3 download link. So we iterate through each item and we create an anchor tag. And as part of like the href value, we just uh, set it as the S3 download link that we generated. And once we have all this code, if we just go back to the project and just refresh, you can see here, we're just like uh, listing all of the items in our S3 bucket. And when I click on it, you can see I'm able to download the file. And if I open it, it's the exact file that we uploaded previously. So that was my quick tutorial on how to download items from your S3 bucket. Um, if you had any trouble, please feel free to leave a comment uh, down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Hopefully you found this video really helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.